No doubt the economy is super crazy right now, so paying for a solar or any alternative energy system might not be the top of your priority list, but Wes has some solutions to that because there's a lot of different ways that you can pay for something, right? Right, absolutely, Mason. Thanks for coming out. Yeah. The, um, so, you know, like we were talking, we've, we've talked several times, we were over at the Expo over in uh, Marshfield a couple weeks ago, and uh, there seemed to be a lot of questions and also in that time, you've had the Inflation Reduction Act that's come yeah, up. lots happening. And so there seems to be a lot happening. And so we wanted to talk on the show today of just kind of what to look at when you're looking at paying for your system. And you're gonna see, and we've seen a lot of stuff like, the government's gonna pay for you to have solar panels, or the government's gonna pay this, and the government's gonna pay that. And uh, I think that's just a lot of, um, of interesting takes on something that hasn't okay. totally uh, settled yet. Yeah. And so that's one of the things we want to talk about. So uh, while there has been a tax credit for some time now, and that usually runs about 26% in that, in that range, uh, if, if you're getting your tax advice from a solar salesperson, it's probably not your, not your best place to get your tax yeah, advice. Yeah, that's, that's fair. So, so be very wary of anybody who is, is using this as a, uh, as a process for, um, for, for telling you how to pay for your system. So another big thing that we see out there is uh, there's a lot of different financing. And, and yeah. we see where, uh, in, in, in not even just solar, but in a lot of different in industries where there's financing offered by the company. And one of the things you just wanna be aware of in that is that a lot of times that's just another way for a company to get revenue out of your sales. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and that's one of the things that we've opted not to do. We've had companies come in and want to do financing with us. And what that typically does to the consumer, it adds sometimes two to 3% onto the consumer's purchase. And we've opted to, to not do any of that. Um, if you wanna pay for your system through financing, we want you to go out and find the best yeah, option absolutely. that's available for you and then and then pay for us. And then you always know exactly what the dollar value of your system is. So it's not hidden with, well, it's you know X number of payments. And that's something that's been very prevalent in the solar industry, um, along with some of the plans that are uh, where you are you are leasing your um, your panels, and that's another big thing. So, so that you're not ever owning your panels. Okay. So, when we've seen leasing happen, in some instances, and again, I would always want you to consult your tax professional or, or even uh, your attorney or anybody, particularly in some of these larger contracts. Leasing can even potentially disqualify you from that credit. Okay. So, because if you think about it, what, what leasing does is leasing doesn't allow you to actually own whatever you're purchasing. Yeah. So, you're, you're, you don't own the panels. If you don't own the panels, then you don't qualify for the credit. Okay. And so, while you're stuck with the bill for paying for it, it's the actual leasing company that picks up the credit. And again, that may not be the case depending on how it's set up, but you, it's the kind of thing that you want to have, have looked at and understood in advance and asked the questions and made sure that it's 100% transparent to you on how that lease is set up. And again, if you were buying from us, then you are, you are, you are purchasing from us. How you got the money yeah. from that is, is you know, kind of up to you. If you went to your bank or you went to your credit union, however you got the money, that's cool, but you bought from us, so you are the owner of those panels. Um, and so, on a kind of a final note on this, and so, the, you know, one of the last things we would always, always tell you to do, no matter, you know, not even just with, with wind and solar products, but really any kind of major purchases you're doing, is check the BBB on whatever business that you're doing. Okay. Um, definitely go out and, and look for them, um, look at their, uh, that the, the cases that have been filed, uh, you know, one of the we are huge supporters of the BBB. We absolutely love them. That's that's where we we want anything to go through there because we want to be very transparent. Yeah. Uh, but always make sure that you look at what's happening with them. You can maintain your A plus rating with the BBB as long as you make sure you respond to complaints and are on top of it. But you may 
be doing some things that are frustrating people and still maintain your A+. And so you always want to make sure that you're looking at the reviews and you're looking at the complaints that filed and reading through and making sure on that. And then, and then uh, I promise this is the last thing we'd say <laughs> on it, is uh, come to the workshop. Yeah, for uh, sure. We do, we do the workshop here in Seymour. It's 400 bucks. If you came to the workshop and you walked away from the workshop and said, this isn't for me, It'll be the cheapest $400 you've spent on your alternative energy project. Well, Wes, if anybody at home needs more information about any of this, you guys have some great online resources and great telephone number where people will actually answer the phone. Right, so just reach out to us at, at our, uh, our sales desk, 417-708-5359. We've got real live salespeople that are yeah. sitting there. They'll talk to you about this. Uh, check our website, womensolar.com. There's a ton of resources there. You can uh, get to our uh, YouTube channel from there and also to the workshop listing and, and the dates of all those workshops. All of that's available there also. 